Hello there, this video is sort of a cousin of my celebrity makeup bag series because I wanted to focus on one of my favourite celebrity looks this year and break down some of the products used to create it, but also how I'd recreate it. At a You Magazine shoot with Phoebe Dinever, the beautiful British actress from Bridgerton on Netflix, makeup artist Kenneth So used By Terry to create natural looking skin, super soft eye makeup with a wash of pink and a real statement red lip. I often talk about pink and red and I'm always looking for help ways to show you what I mean and this look is perfect. Not only is this video a chance for me to rave about one of my go-to colour combinations but also one of my favourite brands by Terry. This video is part of my ongoing paid partnership with the brand. Now I don't have an exact product breakdown so that's why this video is not quite in the usual celebrity makeup bag style but I know Kenneth only used by Terry makeup on Phoebe on the day so this is partly identifying items but also some educated guesses and my own interpretation of a beautiful full face of the brand. One category that pops up a lot here is their hyaluronic range. This family of products spans skincare and makeup, and if you're anything like me, you get excited when you see hyaluronic acid on an ingredients list. What's the big deal? It's a big deal in the hydration world. Hyaluronic acid actually naturally occurs in our bodies. It holds a thousand times its weight in water and helps keep skin plump and hydrated, but over time it can decrease, so it's become such a popular ingredient to add back into the skin to help retain moisture. It has a noticeable smoothing effect, plumps fine lines, and creates a glowy, bouncy base. Speaking of which, let's start with some skin prep to mimic Phoebe's fresh face. Don't forget your sunscreen too. In my recent Healthy Glow video, I talked about how I've completely fallen for By Terry's new Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. I started testing it before it launched in February and I'm already on to my second pot. I so look forward to using this every morning. It's such a refreshing gel cream that feels really juicy but lightweight. Eight hyaluronic acids, niacinamide and squalane help maintain hydration and you end up with a beautifully smooth base for makeup. If you prefer a slightly more matte canvas, the Hyaluronic Hydra Primer gently blurs lines and wrinkles and reduces the appearance of pores. This hyaluronic acid infused mousse is completely colourless, it disappears on the skin and leaves you with a matte finish that doesn't look or feel dry, it still catches the light. You know I'm a real dewy skin person, so I like concentrating a tiny bit of this around my nose to smooth over pores. I often start with a bit of lip prep early in my makeup routine so by the time I get to lip colour they feel nice and soft. If you watched my lip scrub video last year you might remember By Terry's beautiful Bomb de Rose lip scrub. If you're a rose lover like me this has such a wonderful rose scent and taste. The texture is almost like a liquid with sugar crystals in it so it's nice and sweet as they dissolve followed by one of my absolute favourites, by Terry's best-selling Bomb de Rose. This iconic, luxurious lip balm has a thick, creamy, rich texture, so I love massaging it in or applying it as a mask and letting it sink in slowly while I do the rest of my face. This is at the tippy top of the lip balm world with ingredients like hyaluronic acid microspheres, vitamin E, shea butter and rose blossom essential wax. I do not go anywhere without it. I keep the pot by my bed and the liquid tube in my bag. Looking at Phoebe's flawless skin in the photos, I have a few ideas on how to recreate that sort of natural look. Beginning with Brightening CC Serum, my number one product from the brand, only slightly ahead of Bomb de Rose. I've talked about this beautiful formula many times, but most recently in my Healthy Glow video because this is the best glowy base product. It can be worn alone all over the face, under your makeup, mixed into makeup, or as a highlighter, and it's going to give your complexion such a boost of radiance. For the Phoebe look, I'd probably just wear a pump of number two Rose Elixir all over the face, then pinpoint conceal for more coverage. By Terry has you covered if you would like more coverage. I've been testing a few foundations this year, which is new for me, but I've gone for formulas that are really lightweight and sheer. I've mentioned Gucci a couple of times, I'm trying Armani at the moment, and this By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. It really is a fluid, so I shake it up and just apply a drop or two so it's nice and sheer and skin-like, but you can build it to medium or full coverage too. My preferred way to even out my complexion in a really fresh way is to use a light hand with concealer as an all over skin fix. By Terry's new Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer is perfect for this, the big brush is so nice to use on the face and the formula is 87% skincare based. Hyaluronic acid is here again which helps to lock in moisture and blur imperfections. I do a tiny quarter click so I don't end up with too much product, dot it gently under my eyes and brush over any redness around my nose and chin. 
to set that beautiful base, I can't go past By Terry's Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is a fantastic formula if you're not usually a powder person. It completely converted me because it dulls shine and helps to set your concealer, but it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. It's not drying or flat, and we can thank Hyaluronic Acid again for that. My favorite version is the Tinted Hydra Powder. There's a pressed compact that's great for touch-ups on the go, but I have a feeling the original translucent powder might have been the one Phoebe wore in the shoot. Blush and highlighter were almost undetectable in Phoebe's look. I'm such a big blush person, so I need by Terry to release a cream or liquid formula again, but for now I'll use a pop of their powder instead for a glowy flush. The Brightening CC palette in Sunny Flash was last year's spring-summer hit that they luckily brought back. They also have a new CC palette this summer called Beach Bomb, much bolder tones you'll meet in future, but I always come back to these classic colours. A pop of the softer petal pink or rosy coral blush will add a bit of life to the cheeks thanks to soft focus microspheres and light reflecting prisms. In other words, you get a real glow without looking too shimmery or glittery. On to creating that perfect pop of pale pink on the eyes. You can see in one of the shots that Phoebe's lids had a real luminosity to them, so I think the VIP expert palette Paris Mon Amour might have played a part in that. There are 10 mattes and metallics inspired by the romance of Paris, but this soft metallic pearly pink really brightens up the eyes. I just think there's something so romantic but fresh and classic but modern about pink shadow. I'm bringing the Brightening CC palette in Sunny Flash back here too, because if you don't have a pink eyeshadow at home, you might have a pink blush. Love a bit of makeup multitasking. The lightest pink is a similar rose, but a lot less metallic. Really ties a look together when you have a wash of your blush on your eyes. The inner corners of Phoebe's eyes were nice and bright, always a great treat to highlight there to help open up the eyes. I love using shadow sticks or crayons for this step, and by Terry's Ombre Black Star Shade number no. 3 Blonde Opal was made for the job. A classic creamy champagne that catches the light. Phoebe's lashes were actually quite natural in this shoot. The great thing about one of By Terry's Hero products, the Lash Expert Twist Brush Mascara, is that it has two settings. I personally love a lot of volume, so I always like to use the second, more compact shape, but for this kind of fluttery, natural lash, the first setting for length and separation is the way to go. Time for that red lip. What could have created such intense, full colour? this little tube right here. By Terry's Lip Expert Matte Shade number no. 9 Red Carpet was the secret to this look and the exact shade Kenneth So used on set. This formula has grown on me over the years as I've explored more liquid lipsticks. It's comfortably rich colour that doesn't feel dry. It almost applies like paint, it's so pigmented, but I like that Phoebe's lips looked like Kenneth softened the edges ever so slightly. In an earlier look Kenneth did on Phoebe with beautiful classic waves, he used the warmer orange red shade number no. 8 Red Shot. Part of the reason I love by Terry is that the founder, Terry de Gunsberg, is just as obsessed with reds as I am, so there's usually a few tones to choose from in each formula. My Perfect Red is usually not a liquid matte, I'm more of a creamy lipstick or lip shine person, so my red choice from the Lip Expert Shine range is number 16, My Red, Terry's signature shade. The Lip Expert Matte's shiny twin sister is like a comfortable, creamy gloss with the payoff of a liquid lipstick. If you preferred Phoebe's matte finish but want a creamier feel, I'd suggest the Rouge Expert Click Sticks. This is my top by Terry lipstick formula and it's ridiculously underrated. These teardrop shaped lip pens have intense colour like a liquid, but they feel more velvety and almost powdery, so they're perfect for a blurred look, but they don't feel dry and they last and last. The deep, rich red number no. 18, Be Mine, is stunning and pretty close to Phoebe's colour. I hope you enjoyed this big By Terry overview inspired by Kenneth So's beautiful By Terry look on Phoebe Dinova. Thank you to By Terry for working with me almost a year into our partnership. I'm still pinching myself and love hearing from so many of you who've given their products a go. If you're new to the brand, hopefully this helped you meet some of the range. There's plenty more to explore on buyterry.com, which ships to more than 30 countries. And if you're here in Australia, you can find the brand in store and online at Mecca. Please let me know if you'll be trying a Phoebe-inspired pink shadow and red lip look at home. You can find even more look inspiration in the pink shadow highlight on my Instagram at MatildaOnVideo. Thanks for watching. See you next time.